So as we start looking at, you know, as we start wrapping this up, I have two last questions. Five to 10 years ahead, you know, what's your vision for UAV technology and the energy systems that will power it? And if you could build the perfect system or you know, process or pile, what, what would that look like from your, you know, five to 10 years from now? Yeah. Um, you know, with that, I, I think the biggest thing is, is obviously th there's so many like commercial applications with these. Um, with it. And so I would love to see, you know, granted, I don't, I don't think five or 10 years is going to be enough time. Um, just looking at the last 10 years. Right. But I would love to see, you know, regulatory movement, uh, if you will, with this, because being able, I mean, I mean, using UAVs and commercial applications, like, you know, uh, especially when you talk about like, you know, FedEx transport and stuff like that. Um, with it makes so much sense, um, right, w when it comes down to it. Um, so I would love to see, you know, a boom there um, with it. Um, but I, I think the transportation and materials, supplies, cargo, you know, that kind of thing is is going to see a boom in the next five to 10 years because it makes too much sense not to um, with it. It's just, again, we've got to get the regulations to get caught up with it too.